Okay, today we're setting up a new project for each module of the PLC on our trainer. And first of all, Craig's going into Artist Logix 5000. And then he's going to click on File and hit New. And the uh, new controller pops up. And what we do is select the type. And that is on there already. And the uh, revision, which is 16 on here. And set up a, a name for it. And that we have future tech. That's what you want to call it. And we go to the chassis type, which is already um, set up on here. Seven slot uh, chassis, and this is slot zero. And then we go press OK. We go to IO configuration, new module, and we go to digital. Scroll down to module number, which would be no, this is right. no, please. okay, which would be the 1756-IB16A. And it's major firmware version is 3 and that will be our input our DC input And then we'll go down to revision of be, V.3 and then um, it is in slot number one. Press OK. Do you want to get any of up there for you? Gate out for each of the following modules will follow the same procedure. We'll right right click on IO configuration and we'll add our modules. After we had um, put all the cards on there, um, we go to file and then we collect or select uh, save as and then we go to um, start for for our trainer and then we save and then now that we have all that saved we go to RS links, go to communications and configure drivers and we want to make sure We've, uh, we've hooked uh, after, up our serial after, cable. After we had hooked up the serial cable between the PC and the PLC, we want to make sure they're all configured. So we go to configure and then auto configure. And once that's done, we press OK. We had selected our um, PLC key to program. We're going to RS Logix 5000 and then we select communications. We we'll go to Who Active and we select our DF file and then we go to download. Downloading right now. But, uh, wait for the download. Do we, do we um, go down to the Ethernet card and then we right click on that and we scroll down to properties. Click on that. Bring up port configuration. 
and then we now we'll be <coughs> changing the um, IP address of it to 192.168.1-201 and then we'll change also the subnet mask and that's 255.255.255.0 which are the original formats of these addresses and then we press so set press set, then we press OK. Okay, once we um, um, set up the IP address and change the subnet on it to the original format, we uh, power down the PLC and remove the serial cable and connect the ether cable. Um, and then, then after it's powered down, then it power DLC back up again. And then we go to RS Links, Communications, then to Configure Drivers, select the Ethernet file, Configure, and then we select a PC IP address, and then that's set up, and we're OK. Let me close that window, and then we go to RS Who. We got everything yeah, set everything. up. Everything set up to where we want it. All the modules are set up where we want it on the backplane.